Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an extremely glittery eye look. So if you guys like this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So as always, the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. This will help my eyeshadow stay on longer, be more vibrant, and not crease. Because if you have eyelids like me, creasing is a very serious thing. Just without any primer, my eyeshadow just creased like a bitch. <laughs> so I used a little bit of a transition color, kind of a medium brown, on the outer corner. This is going to serve as one, a tr transition color, but also it's going to help when it comes to blending everything out to make it look more diffused and not so like stark, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then I took a darker brown and put this into my crease just to give myself a little bit more depth and drama when I apply the amazing glitteriness fun stuff that didn't make any sense. I know. Now I took some more of that naked and I applied it above the dark brown again to help diffuse it. And then I highlighted with a little bit of pink eyeshadow because it's Valentine's Day. Why not? <laughs> if ever you're going to do it, now would be the time. So for the glitter, I used Lit Cosmetics glitter and their like liquid stuff. I really didn't think it was going to work that well. Because I saw a lot of hype about it, and usually when stuff is hyped too much, it's kind of BS. But this actually worked. Like, I was really surprised. I went to work with it, because I work at Kate Spade, so, you know, live a colorfully or whatever. And this lasted all day. <laughs> this lasted my entire shift without creasing. The only thing I would suggest is to let it completely dry before you um, start moving your eye around. So just kind of look down and leave your eye flat. If you have like a little fan or something, or like you can kind of fan your face, I would definitely do it just to make sure it dries all the way, and then it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Even taking it off, it was actually pretty easy. And then I took a purple eyeshadow, I almost forgot what it was, and I applied this on my lower lash line because there was nothing going on there, and that's kind of boring. And this wouldn't be one of my tutorials, well, m one of my makeup tutorials anyway, if I didn't apply some highlighter. This one, I freaking love it. It went on super easy on top of the glitter, first of all. I didn't think that that was gonna happen. I thought I was gonna have to whip out some gel eyeliner or something and like fight with it. But it actually went on pretty well. And I've been using this for a good month and it's still going strong. Usually with like pen eyeliners, they kind of die after like a couple weeks but this one's really good I liked it a lot and then I applied some pink lipstick and this lipstick when I bought it it wasn't my favorite but it started to grow on me the more that I use it <laughs> so yeah thank you NYX always having great lipsticks For my falsies, I just applied some Kara lashes, and these were the super like whoosh ones. They're very fluffy, very long. I just figured I have glitter on my eyelids. Why not just go all the way dramatic? <laughs> and it, like I said, I did wear this to work, and a lot of people liked it. One thing I didn't record though is apply some mascara to kind of fuse your lashes together, your real and your fake, so that way you don't have that gap. And also apply some lashes, some lashes, some mascara on your lower lashes to make them stand out a little bit more. And that is it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And let me know what your plans for Valentine's Day are, because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. There he comes. There he comes. There he comes.